Hallo. Ada Byron, the mathematically gifted daughter of Lord Byron, the famous poet, who was the first person to conceive of the idea of programming way back in the 1840s. This extraordinary woman described many aspects of information technology more than a hundred years before it became a reality. The present era of IT is defined by all of the exciting applications you see around you. We're still exploring these technologies and applications and currently enjoying all the benefits they bring, like being able to share information, video, uh, photos all around the world. Perhaps the most exciting technological feat, though, of recent times is the mapping of the human genome. And as a result, we can predict many illnesses and develop new drugs with capabilities that were previously unthinkable. IT will play a crucial role in helping us address the big challenges ahead, like our aging populations and climate change. IT will continue to shape our future, a future based on the rich integration of knowledge and devices like robots and intelligent mobile phones for the next generation of applications, fueled by society's values and limited only by our imagination. I know a lot of people think that it's the stereotypical, you know, nerd with the big thick rimmed glasses sitting in front of a computer all day, but it's not like that at all. I mean, the, the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis aren't very technical, and it's because I've chosen to take my career in a non-technical path, and so my job is different every single day. Today, I'm coming here and doing this. Tomorrow, I'm at work taking calls and, and helping um, customers troubleshoot their network, and then the next day, I'll go to, you know, a high school in Sydney and talk to, talk to the students there about doing IT as a career. But, you know, IT by no means pigeonholes you into a 9 to 5 Monday to Friday job. Just compared to other industries, for example law or medicine, IT is just a lot more flexible. I'm able to do a lot more things and it just gives me a lot more opportunities. IT is just so vast and really diverse. You can get into any other fields, you can be um, programming something for a bank, you can be creating um, computer games, so I can take it anywhere I want, um, it will be acknowledged everywhere and we don't have to even speak the same language. Now with IT and the flexibility, you can just do your work at home, on the laptops, everything is accessible. I have more time to do what I really want to do, which in this case is for me, is flying. Because um, aviation is becoming uh, more reliant on IT systems, and with me, I can like, incorporate both of these two into a dream career and maybe one day work at NASA. I didn't even realise I could get a career in it. It just seemed like something fun that if I was going to do a degree, I may as well enjoy myself while I was doing it. But like, it's the best job in the world. I love the fact that I get to exercise my um, technical talent and skills um, such as I can. There's not that many opportunities for me to do that uh, in a way that results in pictures turning up on the screen. Once the power is completely unlimited, you can do anything that you want, really. It all comes down to what, what, what's in your head, you know, what, what you want to produce and what interesting stories you can tell. It's an industry that's very easy to be passionate about. I talk to mates and I'm like, oh, well, I made a guy turn into smoke and fly through a wall today. Yeah, I know when I got into this industry, I had absolutely no idea that I would ever end up uh, working on a film that would win an Oscar, let alone actually holding an Oscar myself. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... Happy And just being able to see um, results on screen, it's a lot more um, satisfying at the end of the day. I always went by that old adage of um, find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life and um, so yeah there's sometimes that I look back on that and I think that I've made the right decision. <laughs> I've never 
seen myself as a technical person. I've always been very sporty. I've raced BMX for over six years now. However, as part of my university degree, I've worked as a computer programmer and I found that I actually like it. And this has proved that there's no such thing as a stereotypical IT person. IT seemed like such an exciting prospect for me. Just being able to get my hands on the technology. The benefits of being a Westpac graduate is that I get to do a variety of different roles. I've had the chance to go overseas and work overseas with Westpac in other banks throughout the world. There's always a different role or a different project that you can move into. On the graduate program, I'll spend maybe six months working in one role, for example, as a business analyst, and then I'll spend another six months working as an architect. Outside work, I rarely touch a computer, so I love to paint. I spend probably a few hours every weekend painting. For me, the I in IT doesn't stand for information, it stands for inspiration. What are you waiting for?